welcome back to another session uh, in this session i am showing you how to install the workbench so in previous sessions we have seen how to install the java server now i am going to show you workbench installation so this is a uh, development environment ide for the am forms backend okay so i'm just extracting the zip file so we'll get the zip file from the adobe portal so we have just extracted the zip file so once you extract the zip file just to open the uh, workbench folder under that we have workbench 6.5 version uh, go to the disk one and inst data folder windows folder under vm we have install.exe file okay you just double click on your uh, install.exe file so installation will get started okay installation is started yeah now it's showing workbench forms click on next here you have to uh, accept the license agreement and you have to choose the workbench location so by default it shows the program files 86 so if you want you can choose the different folder so i'm changing the folder location so i'm going to choose am65 jboss folder um, here I am creating the folder workbench and copy the location and uh, same thing I am given here till x86 folder yep. then click on next button so installation going on so this is workbench this workbench is nothing but the ID for the backend process process creation for AM forms here we can design the processes workbench process so these are requirement so designer already installed in my system previously otherwise it will install that as well AEM forms designer so it's getting started so it will complete in another two three minutes so just asking the firewall blocker just click on allo access windows defender firewall has blocked some features of java platform is even so it's showing some blocker due to this firewall you just click on allow access and you're showing the java w path so because that is only the uh, restricted this installation completed install completed click on next 
is the Adobe Experience Manager from 6.5. That is the release notes. That's it. It gets installed in the workbench. So this is the folder. Deploy docs, all these things. So now it's getting open the AM Forms workbench ID. So it's just pre-launching. So again, it's asking blocker. Just click on allow access. Yep, it's opened. This is the HTML5 front end. So this is nothing but a Eclipse. So this is customized Eclipse version of Adobe. Nothing but your workbench, you can call it as a workbench. In this workbench, you can design the process and we can configure the schedulers, all these things you can do over here, right? So, form design is nothing but a, it's a front end and this is for back end. So, this is a for file and we did window help is the menu. So for connecting the server, we have to configure our server in the workbench. So click on the configure and you have to give the host name and you can give the any name or title name, server title and you have to choose the SOAP HTTP, simple object access protocol. I am giving host, uh, host name as a local host and I am just giving as a head tight server title if that is your wish you can give you any name just for uh, identification purpose you can give any name I am giving the dev server and by default it takes a 8080 port if you change the port then you can give the desired port over there and soap that's it click on ok now you have to give the username and password so username is i'm um, giving the super admin uh, credentials administrator and password and i'm selecting the dev server and click on login now it's connecting to the server connecting to server dev server dev server means we just configure right so it pointing to the server like uh, port right we're giving the port right so that server local host all these things so that server is pointing out 8080 port and uh, local host. See, this is the ID. There are two. You can see in the left navigation, there there are two hyperlinks, right? One is get application, another is create new one. So these things I can explain you later. Sessions, okay? So like this, we can install the workbench. Thank you. Thank you for watching.